welcome to part two of my um, mega haul. And continuing on, we have some blank chipboard shapes from Creative Imaginations. And I think these are really cool. I haven't actually opened the package yet, but uh, for a dollar, I think I got a dollar dollar forty nine dollar dollar ninety nine. It was from the discounts, um, the one discount store in Gibraltar that has massive area for scrapbooking, and um. They don't really have very quality inks or anything like that, but oh my, I just went to town in that place because a lot of things were like dollar ninety nine, dollar, sometimes even cheaper than what I expected to pay for it. When once I got up to the till, like there's a stamp and stuff that I got for half price. Um, paper was ten for a dollar, so I got this lovely. I don't know if you can see the pattern on that. Yeah, we're doing. I got a few sheets of that one because I liked it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this kind of grungy looking one. I got that in a couple of colors. The striped one. It's another one of this one. See, I got like a burgundy-ish one of that other one. And two of the same. I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm going to have a major time tonight trying to organize all this. <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad. So two different, oh gosh, they got two of those green ones. Two different uh, colors of the same pattern. <coughs> and I already had this, but I got one more sheet of it because I love it so much. And um, it's probably going to go into my mini <coughs> as well. Where to me? Excuse me, I need to take a drink. Thank you. Ooh. Much better. <clears throat> These were two for a dollar. Um, they are Create a Card and Scrapbooking 2 by Bow Bunny Press. And I, I, didn't realize they were cards until I got home. I just thought they were cute tags, and um, I really liked the the oh, sorry. I really liked the bottom here, and I I didn't realize they were supposed to be cards. Um, they may turn into cards. They may not, depending on what uh, my fancy is. Okay, where am I? Uh, one of the things I was really, really excited for today, I'm gonna, well, let's clear this off. We'll see when I get to it. <laughs> um, this is at that dollar place in Gibraltar. I thought that wouldn't look really cute on a mini. I love the, the wings. Stencil, double ended stencil brush for a buck. That's not bad. That was at Salvation, no, uh, Goodwill. But look at the price. It's a dollar. And it's all these cool, you know, those large um, potpourri things. But, like, that almost looks like a boat right there. I can, I, I have uh, visions of other things to make with these. So, and there's, like, this really cool, couple really cool flowers in there that can die. I have visions of making them into so other other things, so we'll see what I come up with. Mm. I got some different color purple cardstock because I really didn't have purple, and it's probably I think they had this and this really sick looking green ones that I didn't like, so I didn't get the green ones. That was at the um. Gibraltar as well. I got this as winners. Um, it's specialty cardstock from me and my big ideas. I adore this stack. I got it for 10 bucks, I think. 
Yep, for 10 bucks. I adore this stack. This stack is gorgeous. We'll see what I'm going to come up with this because, oh my goody, goody, goodies. Yummy. Especially this. I so love it. Pretty. <laughs> I don't have much cardstock. Because um, I'm just starting to collect it. I'm trying to use what I get, though. I don't want to hoard it forever. I just want to get it. Um, this I got at Value Village I do, or Talese. Talese. It's a, a Value Village equivalent. Um, and it's called The Souls. Um, it's an elite in English society in the 1800s to 1920s. But I really got it so I could grab pictures out of it. See all, all those gorgeous pictures that I could use in art? So I'm going to cannibalize this book for art. And it only cost... Actually, I got that at half price because it was a green sticker. So it cost me about two bucks. Yay! I'm keep my eye on the time here. Alrighty! <laughs> Let's keep it moving along. I got at the at um, that scrapbooking discount place these really cool and they're called stone stickers. Um, they are inspirables. <sighs> I'm not sure who makes them. But they are cool. I got some with like a Dork Column, Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Eiffel Tower, Pyramids of Giza, Locks and Keys, some travel stuff, Stopwatch. I think these are so freaking cool. I should have picked up more. These ones, I actually, the EK Success. I didn't realize it was said at the bottom. <laughs> These are awesome. I should have gotten more, but I'm, I'm going to probably end up going back when my income tax comes in. So I'll grab more then. These ones are, I thought they were just spirals, but they're heart spirals. They're clips. They're hearts. They're cheap. They're cool. Same place. Um... This is, I'm going to use this as a template because I want to know how to make it. But it's, it's somebody made a album and it's huge. Let's see if I can zoom this back out. Okay. Well, that's good. Good to know. Oh, well. The whole video, other video was it in the other one, but it. It's come apart a little bit, but I want to know how to do that. So I'm going to figure it out from this template. It was only a buck, and I got it at the Goodwill. So, <clears throat> so go. moving along. My, I got this because my husband likes snake. So it's, this is snake. It's supposed to be snake skin. And it was supposed to be two bucks. See, it's just two bucks. I got it for a dollar. She discounted it at the at the counter. This is from Fiskers, and it's just a a square um, grid plate. I guess you could call it. What did what did they call it? Well, it's from a Donny Donna Dewberry. But I didn't buy it for that. I bought it because it's big enough for my bigger stamps. I'm just going to use it for stamping. <laughs> Plenty of rulers. I got some dome stickers, which I plan to use. I got some uh, metallic markers from Prang, just in gold and silver. Okay, we got some stamp sets. One's from. Sandy Lion, it's just, uh, this is a name there, Kelly something. 
Kelly Panacci. And it's all travelogue stuff. I really like the jalopy at the bottom. And it was $2.99. I really, really like this. I do believe this is $2.99 as well. First overall background stamp I've got. So, And I love the little topiaries. There's some topiaries on the bottom there. I thought that was really cool. So I can't wait to play with those. I've got a matte stack. And I really like those. I know my mom's going to really like those because they're pink in it. I'm not a pink fan, but I actually like that. That's not too bad either. It looks pretty vintage but I really like this in the back. I really like that. I'm probably going to be able to play with that and make a lot of those out of that. And I really like this, this size for either card making or um, just art because it's, it's easy to handle and fun. Um, another... I got another, and I won't pull out all of them because they're pretty well the same or along the same lines. Um, a grab bag of flowers, and those of you who know me know why I like to buy artificial flowers and pull them apart <laughs> for the petals, um, which I'm probably going to do with this one too. But um, I got a whole grab bag full of different ones for a dollar. I'm a, a real, I don't want to say cheap, but thrifty person. So when I see something that I am I know I'll use and have fun with and it's cheap, I will buy it. Um, about album. I can't remember where I got this, though. It was, a, it was at a discount place. But I can't remember where. But I liked it. Bought it. More paper. This is from the dollar store for um, dollar. I want to say Dollarama, or was it? No, not Dollarama. Sorry, Dollar Giant. So this is all in the same pack. I only bought one pack that day. Uh, but I really like the the grungy. I guess you could say. I really like that. Really like green one here. I like, see, if pink was like this, I like pink in, in the kind of the grungier one. And I really, really, really like this with the tree. I love the tree. And I think I'm going to have to go to a part three. <laughs> so, um, there's the other one. So stay tuned. Catch part three.